Tetanus, you have definitely heard of it. You probably think of the shot first, right? A lot of people associate the infection with cuts caused by rusty nails. Well, tetanus is becoming more rare, but it's not gone for good in this country. In fact, just recently, a six-year-old boy in Oregon nearly died from it. He did survive the infection, but the cost of his care was nearly a million dollars. So what is tetanus and how can you make sure that you don't get it? RJ Marquez helps us understand the illness. It's a disease caused by a bacterium uh, called uh, Clostridium uh, tetani, uh, which is found uh, pretty much everywhere you can think of, uh, especially in the soil and uh, contaminated by the human or animal um, uh, feces. It's an anaerobic bacteria makes spores, which are like seeds, and that makes a toxin, a toxin that enters your body and that attacks your uh, nervous system. Typically, um, you see a jaw, locked jaw, a locked neck, and locked uh, on your throat. The person would actually go just, you know, hypertension issues, and it's, uh, it can be uh, lethal. There's no a good uh, a routine lab test. This is going to be a clinical diagnosis, meaning uh, based on your exposure and based on your symptoms. It, it varies from anywhere from one to three weeks uh, from the time of your exposure. It can actually last, last two months, and even uh, some patients take years to, uh, to recover fully. You don't need to get it every year, but uh, once you're vaccinated fully, uh, complete your primary vaccination as a child, um, you, it's recommended to get every 10 years. The good thing about the vaccines are tetanus is the only vaccine-preventable disease that is not contagious. So it doesn't spread from person to person, but you, you may get exposure uh, exposed uh, from the environment. So the vaccine is the only way and that's the easy and the best way to go. So when you next time when you get a little skin cut or a puncture wound, um, you gotta think about that. Tetanus is rare in Texas. According to the state's Health and Human Services Department, there were 13 cases in all from 2012 to 2016. Here's the breakdown. Three cases in 2012, two in 2013, four in 2014, two in 2015, and then two cases in 2016.